been speaking with Grace's father about her going to live with him in New York. Okay, here we go. Let's make this department the best in the hospital. There shouldn't be any breaches while inspectors are here. I can't work today because I'm on the inspection team. You're dropping everything here for a booty call. This is Dr. Knight's patient. Why are you cheating him? It looks like some sort of computer virus. You're doing it, kid! Definitely complaints about your management style. From whom? Your skin, aren't you? Some flames just aren't meant to go out. I guess so. You compromised a patient's safety. Get anywhere near her. Um, Good luck. Give me your hand. What's your teddy's name? Charlie. Okay. Brave girl. All better? Yeah. Good girl. Do you need me to cut up your lunch as well? Happy Valentine's. Oh, yeah. Close your eyes and open your hands. Oh, Max, I didn't know we were doing presents. And we're not. I see she feels present. Oh, Max. And I want a reward. Every time. Hey. Um, I'm playing Cupid today, so um, if you've got any cars that want delivery now. Yeah, oh, no, that was just a car insurance form I was doing. A car that I'm getting, well, thinking of getting, hence the insurance form. How do we discharge patients without their prescription? No, that was a rhetorical question. You just ensure you don't run short again. I'm not taking the blame for your inefficiencies. It's not that bad. Charlie, it said there were areas that needed improvement. I have never needed improvement in my life. And that's just the headlines. The full report comes out next week. There were some hiccups. I wanted it to be excellent. Well, we are. Most of the time, we are. And don't worry, we will get you your gold star. It's not funny. Charlie. Let's discuss it later. Come up with a plan. Right, let's find you a cubicle. Keep the wicket shut, lads. Thank you. Keep it. Right. We'll take you back in about ten minutes, OK? Take your time. I'm in no rush. Looking very handsome, Dr. Harder. Do you want to read him? Oh, um, what was the... No, I've, I've, sorry, I've got the, uh... Coffee! Quick! Before Louise sees. Look, you didn't get out of the thermia. Just think he's coming outside. Make sure he wears lots of thin layers. Yeah. Is Big Mac OK? Oh, it's like living with a teenager. He's grumpy, moody, stays in his room all the time. You know, he used up all the tomato sauce and still not replaced it against house rule number four. I think you should have a chat. The rules are very clear. No, I mean, I think he's got something on his head. It's not good bottling it up. I can't half mess with your chakras. <laughs> well, I know it messes with my breakfast. And, um, you didn't see where he went then, no? Sorry, lost a patient. Again? Focus, Noel. We can't let the side down, especially after last week, OK? Yeah. That'll be two pounds, please. Mm -hmm. Susie, what are you doing here? Pick up in Haynes. 
Uh, coffee, Black. We can't expect you to work. Not today. I wanted to keep busy. If it's because you don't want to go alone, I can always shut up shop. No point. Trial's over. And? What did you get? Life. No problem. to put me up out. Take my arm, Olive. You're a gentleman, Stanley. Can't say the same about the rest of them. No manners. What am I going to do when you retire? Going to have to find yourself a new friend. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it's a few hours out, sweetie. Nice to see the sky on your last day. to put in a Valentine's card, you can pop it in here. It's all secret. In fact, Lofty, somebody's already left one for you. Mm. But you're tenor, it's from your brother. Oh, looks like a rubbing shade of lipstick to me. Don't be daft. Too Lofty, you're just what the doctor ordered. You can treat me any time. Definitely, Max. Come on, then. How many have I got? Four, six. No, just one for Zoe. Surely not. <laughs> All right, you lot, back to work. Come on, you still got to make up for last week. I've seen quite enough clowning out of you for a while. Get rid of that before she sees it, or I'll unleash my own special virus on you. Doctor tonight, my office. The missus wants us to buy a caravan down in Torquay. Spend more time together. Enjoy our retirement. I always like Western. Smashing little cafe by the old pier. Lovely ice cream. You should take the grandkids. You see, the problem you have with me, Dr. Knight, is that I'm impervious to your charm and good looks. I just don't have a heart. My problem with you, however, is that I just don't trust you. The inspection report singled you out for walking off during a shift, and we all know where you went, for not staying in cubicles, performing a procedure I had explicitly forbidden. Which saved the patient. Well, you were lucky. But hey, there we go. You don't understand your boundaries or your place in this department. Which is why I'm suggesting it's time for you to find another place, another position. Sorry, let me get this straight. You're, you're sacking me. I'm making a suggestion. Your choice. I'm sure it's clear which I'd prefer. And the quicker the exit, the better the reference. You'll have no trouble finding a new job. Uh, Mrs. Peach, I... Thank you. Please close the door on the way out. Yes? Traffic's nose to tail. Total standstill. Yeah, I I'll pick it up, come straight back. I I've got to go. Yeah, traffic's moving. Yeah, bye. Me. Don't wait until you're actually in pain before you use it. Dr. Hardy, uh, anything you want to... Uh... Oh, uh, well, isn't Valentine's Day just another way for restaurants and florists to put prices up? Designed for, you know, guilty husbands and lovesick teenagers. That'll be a no, then. Sure. Well, I think it's lovely. Chance to show someone how special they are. I suppose no-one thinks I am this year.
She's got an admirer. There's no card, though. I checked. Charlie, uh, RTC on the Axbury dual carriageway. Four injured, two entrapments, and they're requesting a doctor. So I should ask Ethan, really. Ethan's busy. Why don't you take it? Well, then I really should ask Connie. I uh, wouldn't interrupt her. She's on the phone to Guy. I'll tell her. OK. I'd like you to put off a shout like that. Go on, get your kit. Sure. No, everything's under control. Yes. Guy, I'm well aware of that. Chucked his toys out of the pram, has he? Aimed every single one of them at me. Right, uh, I'll sign these and get them back. No rush. Any time in the next 20 minutes will do. Uh, Cal's gone out to an RTC. He didn't think to ask me first. Well, actually, he did. I said I'd tell you. Oh. Not a problem with that. No, no problem at all. Right, Cal. We've got a police van driver, 25, GCS of 15. He's on his way into St James's. The doors are jammed, so the fire crew are trying to get you different access. Inside, we've got a male, 65, female, 68. They're both conscious. His left foot's jammed. He's complaining of breathing difficulties. She's complaining of pain in the left ear. Hello, mate. Uh, I'm Ian. And this is Cal. Try to keep your head still in case you've injured your neck, all right? Uh, OK, uh, still, you need to look at his foot. Uh, help! Help me! Just hold on, love. All right, lads. Ready to go in? Be with you both as soon okay. as I can, Dicks, all right? Hello, darling. My name's Dicks. Uh, Let's have a little look at you, eh? Uh, OK. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You took your time. Ah. Bloody hell. Oh, the sweet shop lady. But those kids knew her, all of them. When she comes in here, she's a patient, like anyone else. Yeah, but she's not, though, is she? She's evil. And what does she get? A cell with a TV and three meals a day? You call that punishment? Let's not give the press tomorrow's headlines, please. Be professional. Sorry. And I'm sorry about last week, losing my patient. Let's not forget crashing the hospital computer system. Right, Olive Russell's trial ended today, so we can expect company. I've warned security. Let's put her in the small recess. Yeah. She will have a police officer with her at all times, but I want you with me in recess. OK? Guys, keeping a close eye on this one. OK. Charlie, which nurse has been assigned to her? Give you a chance to make up for last week, won't it? All right, Susie. This should help the pain, okay? Yeah, it feels like you've fractured the head of your humerus. How are the others? Are they here? Well, let's concentrate on you for now, uh, okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of bruising here. Can we get a chest x ray and take some humeral views? And can we chase up her records, please, Rita? Yeah. What kind of person murders four children? Robin. I know, I know, she's a patient. Charlie, first resource patient's arrived. Right, thanks. And this is Stanley Mumford, 65, involved in an RTC, about 10.45. Van versus van at approximately 50 miles an hour. 
He's got a small cut on his head. His left foot was trapped for about 10 minutes with a deep laceration. And I was worried about some breathing difficulties on scene. GCS 15, pulse 90, BP's 130 over 80, SATs 95, I've given him 10 of morphine. Who's Cal? Cal, insisted on staying at the scene. Over on three. One, two, three. Oh, boy. Right, let's do the ABCs, please. Stand on Mrs. Beach and Morgan looking after you. My foot. You need to look at my foot. When we get a chance, Stanley. And can we get some monitoring? All right, let's give him five more of possible. morphine. Right, we have bilateral breath sounds. Let's get a chest and pelvic x ray. I'd like a fast scan. Second, large bore IV cannula. Push a litre of normal saline, please. Let's have FBCs using ease, clotting group, and saving glucose. Right, I'm not happy about this note. There's some swelling there. Robin, can you take over manual C spine control, please? I'd like to look at his neck. Keep him nice and steady. There we go. Just hit that on impact. Yeah. Just keep an eye on that. All right, let's get uh, CTC spine. Stabilise his neck again, please. All right, let's have a look at this. Nearly there. Oh, I'm sorry for the bumpy ride. It hurts. It really hurts. I'm just giving you ten of morphine. Are you enjoying this, watching me suffer? Olive, you need to give it a chance to work. All right? Fractured hip can be very painful. Trying to sneeze on myself is more comfortable. You stay with me, sweetie. Look after me. Oh! Right, here we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This will be fun. All right, we'll get you in as quick as we can. Look at old me. Star attraction. Stan was immobilised, packaged and ready to come in. Right, this, this patient, she needed me. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you just wanted the attention. What? Please tell me you're kidding, aren't you? No. How is Stan, anyway? Stable. Good. But you'll find out because you're going into recess. I'm taking her. Shouldn't she have continuity of care? Oh, how sweet. You want to stay with her? No. Oh, where's my handsome young man? It's busy. My name's Mrs. Beach, and I'll be looking after you now. Right. Sea spine has been cleared. We're going to need to cut these clothes off and access your injury. Attach some monitors and do some obs, please. Oh, hello, sweetie. I always did like redheads. Robin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, I can't even go near her. All right, darling. Don't worry. You go and take my place with Zoe in cubicles, OK? Do you need me? Thank you, Rita. We need to cut these clothes off, access the injury, attach monitors and do ops, please. Robin, meet Susie. The x-rays have confirmed she has a fractured humerus, so can we get her into a collar and cough and give her a couple of code code of I don't things? know what happened. Robin, the records. She gave us her maiden name. Her married name is Susan Reardon. Reardon? Robin, code code of all. Sling. Robin? Yeah. Um... You said you'd stay with her. Well, our clinical lead is looking after her. So, believe me, she's in the best possible hands. Right, let's take a look at this foot. 39 years. Last day today. I'm sure they'll understand. All right. Let's titrate another 10 of morphine and 50 of cyclozine. Just going to get these bits of sock out, Just Stan. keep taking nice deep breaths on that. You might feel a slight pull. Ooh. OK, let's try and relax for me, Stan. I bet you're looking forward to leaving. A bit worried about my ladies. I need someone to look after them, make sure they don't... Oh. All right.
might just stay nice and relaxed for us now, Stan. Keep talking, Stan. Make sure they don't what? You know, people think prison's a soft option. But you imagine living in the same 10 by 12 box day after day. Does stuff to your head. Some of the women end up thinking they're the judge. Okay, nearly there. They want to get Olive. And some of the officers will turn a blind eye, but I tell the girls, you kill her, and that's her sentence over. And you'll be the one doing more time. Right, Johnny, there's um, no tendon damage that I can see. Pulse is okay. Uh, Stan, can you wiggle your toes for me? And can you push your foot back into my hand? That's good. A thousand years in solitary would be too short for her. She'll never get out. And she can't stand it. Throat's a bit sore. Must be all this talking. Well, make sure you tell me if it gets any worse. Well, who's the lucky lady? Oh, no. Um, someone sent this to me, actually. OK, you've definitely fractured the neck of the femur, your hip. I need more pain relief. She's had 20 of morphine. Right, let's make her comfortable and then we'll get you up to surgery and you can go... Well, you'll be out of here in a couple of days. Don't mean to cheer me up. Prison's no place for an old woman. I treated me dog better. Might as well pull me out of my misery. Nobody care. Fine, I'll give you a fascia iliaca block. It'll block the pain to your hip and your leg. Right, Rita, will you draw up 20 mils of 0.5 marcaine diluted with 20 mils of normal saline, please? They put him down when I went inside, my dog. I said they shall find him a home. Nobody listened. I hope it was nicer than anyone I know. Never spat in your soup. Used to sit in the corner in that sweet shot. Oh, lovely little fellow, everyone liked him. Especially the kiddies. They all wanted to stroke him, get a lick. Oh, used to keep treats in my pocket so they could feed him. You got children. Right, this, um. <clears throat> This may cause some discomfort, so please let me know if it's too much. And worse. <sighs> oh, yeah, no, I... Boy or girl or, or both. What about you? You got kids? Not really any of your business, is it? People say, I hate kids. I don't I love them. Maybe too much. I never want to let him go. Oh, that's better. Mrs Beecham, can I have a word, please? I've moved Zoe's patient to HDC, the driver, Susan Reardon. Her daughter was one of Olive Russell's victims. Stan's having trouble with no. his breathing. Breathe. Throat. Just stay nice and calm for me, Stan. Yeah, his breathing's getting worse and his sats are dropping. Right, we need to get an urgent anaesthetic review, please. Let's take a look at his neck. Yeah. Oh, there's massive swelling. Uh, I can feel some crepitus and subcutaneous emphysema. Where's our CT scan? When Ian asked, he said he had trouble breathing. When I asked him, he said he was fine. Yes, right, that's right. Oh, Charlie, he wanted me to stay with Olive, didn't he? Yeah, he pretty firm in that what he wanted. All right, laryngeal fracture. Mrs. Reardon? Yeah. Well, we know who you are now. The police would like to speak to you. I've told them they can do so in a couple of hours. Is Olive here? How is she? It's interesting you don't ask about the innocent people you injured. It was an accident. 
I never meant to hurt anyone. You have no idea what it's like to lose your daughter. Make sure she doesn't leave. Well, oh, he's really struggling, people. Yeah, airway is severely compromised. OK, I'll crash call the anaesthetist. Can you take over for me? Please? Right, we're going to struggle to intubate him. That's a well done. We need to do an urgent trachea, please. Let's get the kit. Thank you. The pulse is rising. Ooh. There must be another injury. That would explain the pain. Unless she's making it up. I don't tell lies. Honesty is a virtue, one of my many attributes. Of course, I have secrets. I have to have a few of them. Secret hiding places. Useful if you want a day out. I'll need the lavatory. Can you help me? Of course. Excuse me, Peter. Ow. 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 Careful. Oh. I'm quite a celebrity, you know. I have fans, not inside, but out. Oh, you should see the letters I get. People after my autograph. Even have marriage proposals at my age. Finished. Oh, you pretty thing, aren't you, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Proper manners, respectful, I like that. Mm, got lovely perfume, too. Mm. There's blood in the urine. Right, um, we need to order a contrast scan. There must be a renal damage. What's that mean? We know after the scan. Don't make me, sweetie. Come with me. Mrs Beecham has got other patients to see. I'm going to take you up, all right? He had a laryngeal fracture, so we couldn't intubate. Sats are coming up. Great work, Cal. Well spotted. We all missed it. Well, that's that then. Sorry, have I missed something? Yeah. She wants me to leave. After the inspection report, she asked for my resignation by the end of today. She did what? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Thank you. Honey, you OK? My nan's had a fall. She's broken a hip. I need to get back to her. What, to Manchester? She's my family. She needs me. But I'm family. <sighs> Take Olive. Take her back to recess. Hey, 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 look at her. You need to get back into bed. She murdered my daughter. She still hasn't said where Laura is. Oh, Susie. I just want to know where she is. She's out there. On her own. She hates being alone. I, I know Olive would talk to me. I know. I, I went to the prison and they wouldn't let me in. I, I just want to talk to her. Do you have a chance? 
children. Oh, God, I just, I, I don't know how you'd cope when something like that happens. Oh. I just want to bring her home. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, you look after your nan and stay in touch. Go oh, let's try and stop now. I didn't sack him. I merely suggested that it might be best. Come on, it's me you're talking to. This does not recommend getting rid of him. No, but he does say we don't have adequate doctors. They meant our staffing levels are too low. Carl's a good doctor. He made a mistake and he's learned his lesson. Why have you not replaced Ash? Oh, Charlie, the budgets are so tight. I am struggling what? to do the... What? You never cut staff. Never. There's enough people trying to do that already. In the name of sweet reason, what are you thinking? You're our clinical lead. Our clinical lead. You're supposed to defend jobs, not cut them. Oh, he's in there. Honey. I just don't know what to do. Oh. I'm hurting again. Help me out, dear. Oh, we haven't fallen out, have we? The surgeons have looked at your scan. One kidney is severely damaged. You'll probably lose that. The other has significant renal disease. You can operate, though. Well, they'll remove it and put you on dialysis, but they'll explain that. What about organ donation? One of my fans, but they die for me. I'm sure they wouldn't mind giving me a kidney. They got two. Oh my goodness, you're repulsive. If I had a choice, I would instruct my staff to walk away and leave you to rot. Okay, Mrs. Beecher. But believe me, I honour my Hippocratic oath more than I despise you. That is the only reason we're treating you. You don't deserve a second chance. You need to leave now. No, this is my patient. Yes, let's keep it that way. Take some time out. Mother, I'm over tired. They want to keep me alive, you know. Can't get your secrets if you did. Why won't you tell them where Laura is? Now, why would I do that? So she can bury her. I well, thought about it. Wouldn't tell the police. Thought about seeing her mum, tell her direct. They wouldn't let me. Didn't trust me. So hurtful. <laughs> well, he's just upset that you're going. I feel like I'm being selfish leaving her. No. Honey, leaving your friends, your job, your life, because you're going to care for someone. That's about the most unselfish act I can think of. But he'll miss you. We all will. Um, I need to give Olive an internal examination, so we're going to need some privacy. Should really stay with her? Yeah, but she's handcuffed to the bed and she's got a fractured hip, so she's not going anywhere, is she? Why don't you grab a coffee? It'll only be ten minutes. Am I going to see my handsome young doctor again? Laura's mum. Pretty little Laura. You've lost weight, Susan. you? I can't eat. I can't sleep. I... Where's Laura? What did you do to her? You don't really want to know, do you? I 
I know. I know. Somewhere, deep down, there's something decent, kind. I know that you'll do the right thing. That you'll tell me where she is. Let me put her to rest. Bring her home. Really? What on earth would give you that idea? Because I'll make you. Really? How are you going to do that? <sighs> Look, he's stable. We're just transferring him to ITU, right? Till tonight. <sighs> yeah, what now? The symptoms of a laryngeal fracture can often develop after a delay. It's easily missed, and he clearly tried to hide it. Yeah, that's right, he was. I may have been a little hasty earlier. We might still have a place for you here. Thank you. Oh. And look, what I did last week, I, I promise, I promise it won't happen again. All right, well, we'll see. Go on up with your patient. Thanks. Why are you? Oh, um, I'm just taking a breather. No, I just... There was supposed to be someone yeah. with her. And then... <sighs> she won't tell me. She won't no, say what happened. Please, just put it down. Don't come any closer. If you do this, you're going to be the same as This is none of your business. <laughs> I have to. I have to punish This is her. what she wants. This is her easy way She's out. Such a lovely girl. Oh, Susie, she wants you to Such a up. shame you'll never know where she is. <laughs> okay. Please, Susie, put the knife down. God, I didn't deserve a second chance. Shut up. Susie, please. Please look at me. Please look at me. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can't. Of course she can. She'll enjoy it. Go on. You can't. Susie. Don't don't listen to her. Go on, Trish. Susie, don't listen to her, please. Susie, look at me. I know how terrible it is to lose a child. I really do. But if you do this, the only person that will benefit is her. Not you, her. And that's what she Go wants. On. Don't let her win. Go on, Susie. sweetie. Go on. Please, come on. For Laura, go on. Susie, please. Go on, sweetie. There we go. It's OK. It's OK. Kill George. I need to get you out now, okay? I need to get you out. Go there. Hope you're happy. No, please wait. Is everything okay? Right. Come with me. I don't know what happened. I don't... No, no, it's... you should never have been let in. Deeply, deeply sorry about Laura. But knowing where she is, it's not going to bring her back. I'm sorry she's gone. Yeah. You lost your child too. Oh my goodness, not like you. No, she's just gone to live with her father in America. Still hurts. Uh, do you know anything about the others in the accident? Are they hurt? Uh, the um, there was a prison guard that was brought in, but he's stable.
sorry I've got to go away. Your nan needs you. You need me too. She just needs me a bit more. I can't leave her on her own. But I'll see you again. Now I've found you, I'll never let you go. I love you, Dad. Dad? You called me Dad? It's what you are. The best the girl could ever have. I'm sorry, Princess. But you could look after your nan. You get her better. And if um, you don't pop back down, I'll pop and see you soon. I'll call you as soon as I get there. Okay. Promise, Mayor. We'll speak to Big Mac. Mm-hmm. Well done. Honey, I will. Uh, I, I'm not good at this, but I wanted to say that well, I want to... What I mean is... No one actually sent me this card. It's for you. And... So is this. Connie, I'm sorry. There are no excuses. We both made mistakes we regret today. It wasn't the finest hour for either of us. No. No, it wasn't. And I don't think Susie needs to suffer any more than is necessary to you. No. No. Well, then, best forgotten. Connie Beecham, could you come in, please? I'd like to see you. Perfect. Great, thank you. I've got your last present. Max, you've got to stop spending your money on me. You didn't. Big Max Saturday. How romantic. Mind if I pass? No. As long as I still get my reward. So the others are off to the pub. Do you want to go? What, and have everyone gossip about us? I like it being a secret, don't you? And anyway, I haven't given you your present yet. To be honest, is it as good as a chocolate chip muffin that's been sat on by Big Mac? No. Bottle of champagne? In a hot air balloon? If we take off tomorrow morning, I'll text you the details. Can I tell anyone? No. Cheers, girls. Appreciate it. Thanks for the card, Max. What card? Hang on. That is me. Yes, well done. You got me. What can I say? You were a very handsome man. Maybe next year I'll get a real one. <laughs> Three points for the Lonely Hearts Club. Yeah. You fancy lofty. Oh, Max, please, 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 please don't say anything. Yeah, right. Until the next time I wait to do the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, mm -hmm. you're my mate, right? Yeah. My best mate? Mm -hmm. So be straight with me. I mean, if there's something I could have helped you with and you didn't let me out, I'm not going to be happy. What did they tell you? She was a lack of respect, man.
I'm broke. Okay. Can't afford to get me a drink. Can't just copy this. Can't afford the weekly shop. Can't even afford the ketchup. I didn't want you to think I couldn't pull my weight. You know, I thought it was something really bad. <laughs> That's fine. We can deal with that. I'm sorry, honey, has gone. Hmm. Hey, she's still got me, though. And that's meant to cheer me up, is it? <laughs> Sam, it's me, is Grace there? Uh, no, 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 don't bother her. She's busy then. No, it's fine. Can you just tell her I call and that I love her? Thanks. Coming in. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's not beat about the bush. I know I'm here. I, I, I can't change a word of that report. You know, I have to stand by it. Yeah, that's fine. You were just doing your job. Success doesn't come from never making mistakes, but never making the same mistake twice. So. Are you are you quoting George Bernard Shaw? Well, paraphrasing. Um, I believe with the right team, we will be excellent. Yeah, I, 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 I totally agree. The, the foundations are there. Good. Well, we're advertising for a new consultant. I would like it to be you. I would give you my personal endorsement. Me? You're asking me? Well, I don't see anyone else in the room, so... Oh, uh, I, I... I mean, I'd have to... I'd have... Yeah, go on then. Why not? Excellent. Um... The application form is just formality, but uh, thank you very much for coming in. I look forward to it. said there were areas that needed improvement. I have never needed improvement in my life. And that's just the headlines. The full report comes out next week. There were some hiccups. I wanted it to be excellent. Well, we are. Most of the time, we are. But don't worry. We will get you your gold star. It's not funny. Charlie. Let's discuss it later. Come up with a plan. Right, let's find you a cubicle. Keep the wicket shut, lads. Thank you. Keep it. Right. We'll take it back in about ten minutes, OK? Take your time. I'm in no rush. Looking very handsome, Dr. Harder. Do you want to read him? Oh, um, what was the... No, I've, I've sorry, I've got the, uh... Coffee! Quick! Before Louise sees. Look, you didn't get hypothermia. Just let me scam it outside, make sure he wears lots of thin layers. Yeah. Is Big Mac OK? Oh, it's like living with a teenager. He's grumpy, moody, stays in his room all the time. You know, you... Six 
She's got an admirer. There's no card, though. I checked. Charlie, uh, RTC on the Axbury dual carriageway. Four injured, two entrapments, and they're requesting a doctor. So if I should... Uh... This scam. Don't mount them, Miss Sweetie. Come with me. Mrs Beecham has got other patients to see. I'm going to take you up, all right? He had a laryngeal fracture, so we couldn't intubate. Sats are coming up. Great work, Cal. Well spotted. We all missed it. Well, that's that then. Sorry, have I missed something? Yeah. She wants me to leave. After the inspection report, she asked for my resignation by the end of today. She did what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Honey, you okay? My nan's had a fall. She's broken a hip. I need to get back to her. What to Manchester? She's my family. She needs me. Mo cut on his head. His left foot was trapped for about ten minutes with a deep laceration, and I was worried about some breathing difficulties on scene. GCS 15, pulse 90, BP's 130 over 80, SATs 95. I've given him ten of morphine. Who's Cal? Cal insisted on seeing at the scene. Over on three. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Right. Let's do the ABCs, please. Stand up, Mrs. Beach, and I'll be looking after you. My foot. You need to look at my foot. When we get a chance, Stanley. And can we get some monitoring? Right, let's on give him five more of morphine. Mm -hmm. Right, we have bilateral breath sounds. Let's get a chest and pelvic x ray. I'd like a fast scan. Second large bore IV cannula. Push a litre of normal saline, please. Let's have FBCs using ease, clotting group, and saving glucose. Right, I'm not happy about this note. There's some swelling there. Robin, can you take over manual C spine control, please? I'd like to look at his neck. Keep him nice and steady. There we go. Must have hit that on impact. Yeah. Let's keep an eye on that. All right, let's get uh, CTC spine. Stabilise his neck again, please. All right, let's have a look at this. Nearly there. I'm sorry for the bumpy ride. It hurts! It really hurts! Do you need me? Thank you, Rita. We need to cut these clothes off, access the injury, attach monitors and do ops, please. Robin, meet Susie. The x-rays have confirmed she has a fractured humerus, so can we get her into a collar and cough and give her a couple of code codes of I don't know what happened. Robin, the records. She gave us her maiden name. Her married name is Susan Reardon. Reardon? Robin, Coco de Mole. Sling. Robin? Yeah. Um... You said you'd stay with her. Well, our clinical lead is looking after her. So, believe me, she's in the best possible hands. 
Let's take a look at this foot. 39 years. Last day today. I'm sure they'll understand. All right, let's titrate another 10 of morphine and 50 of cyclozine. Just gonna get these bits of sock out, Stan. keep taking nice deep breaths on You might feel a slight pull. Okay, let's try and relax for me, Stan. I bet you're looking forward to leaving. A bit worried about my ladies. They need someone to look after them, make sure they don't... All right, just stay nice and relaxed for us now, Stan. Keep talking, Stan, make sure they don't what? I don't know what happened. I don't... No, no, it's, you should never have been let in. I am so deeply, deeply sorry about Laura. But knowing where she is, it's not going to bring her back. Oh, my goodness, not like you, no. She's just gone to live with her father in America. It still hurts. Uh, do you know anything about the others in the accident? Are they hurt? Uh, the, um, there was a prison guard that was brought in. But he's stable. the pub do you want to go what and have everyone gossip about us i like it being a secret don't you and anyway i haven't given you your present yet be honest is it as good as a chocolate chip muffin that's been sat on by big mac no bottle of champagne in a hot air balloon we take off tomorrow morning i'll text you the details can i tell anyone no cheers girls appreciate it thanks for the card max what card Hang on. That is me. Yes, well done. You got me. What can I say? You were a very handsome man. Maybe next year I'll get a real one. <laughs> Three points. Is that only Hearts Club? Yeah. You fancy Lofty? Oh, Max, please, 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 please don't say anything. Yeah, all right. Until the next time I went to do the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> Mac? Yeah. You're my mate, right? Yeah. My best mate? So be straight with me. I mean, if there's something I could have helped you with then you didn't let me out, I'm not going to be happy. What did they tell you? She was a lack of respect, man. <sighs> I'm broke. OK? Can't afford to get my own drink. Girls got me this. Can't afford the weekly shop. To put in a Valentine's card, you can pop it in here. It's all secret. In fact, Lofty, somebody's already left one for you. Mm. But your tenor, it's from your brother. Oh, looks like we're rubbing a shade of lipstick to me. Don't be daft. Too Lofty, you're just what the doctor ordered. You can treat me any time. Definitely, Max. Come on, then. How many have I got? Four, six. None. Just one for Zoe. Surely not. <laughs> All right, you lot. Back to work. Come on. you still got to make up for last week. I've seen quite enough clowning out of you for a while. Get rid of that before she sees it, or I'll unleash my own special virus on you. Dr. Knight, my office. The missus wants us to buy a caravan down in Torquay. Spend more time together. Enjoy our retirement. I always like Western. Smashing little cafe by the old pier. Lovely ice cream. You should do the grandkids. You see, the problem you have with me, Dr. Knight, is that I'm impervious to your charming good looks. I just don't have a heart. 
My problem with you, however, is that I just don't trust you. The inspection report singled you out for walking off during... Yeah. Um... You said you'd stay with her. Well, our clinical lead is looking after her. So, believe me, she's in the best possible hands. All right, let's take a look at this foot. 39 years. Last day today. I'm sure they'll understand. All right, let's titrate another 10 of morphine and 50 of cyclozine. Just gonna get these bits of sock out, Just Stan. keep taking nice deep breaths on that. You might feel a slight pull. Okay, let's try and relax for me, Stan. I bet you're looking forward to leaving. A bit worried about my ladies. They need someone to look after them, make sure they don't... <coughs> All right, just stay nice and relaxed for us now, Stan. Keep talking, Stan. Make sure they don't what? You know, people think prison's a soft option. But you imagine living in the same 10 by 12 box day after day. Does stuff to your head. Some of the women end up thinking they're the judge. OK, nearly there. They want to get... Olive. And some of the officers would turn a blind eye, but I tell the girls, you kill her, and that's her sentence over. Might still have a place for you here. Thank you. Yeah. And look, what I did last week, I, I promise, I promise it won't happen again. All right, well, we'll see. Go on up with your patient. Thanks. Why are you? Oh, um, I'm just taking a breather. I no, just... there was supposed to be someone yeah. with her. Go on, but... <sighs> she won't tell me. She won't say what Please, just put it down. Don't, Don't come any closer. If you do this, you're going to be the same as This is none of your business. I have to... I have to punish This her. is what she wants. This is her easy way out. She's such a lovely girl. Oh, Susie, she wants you to kill Such her. a shame you'll never know where she is. No, okay. Please, Susie, put the knife down. Well, I didn't deserve a second chance. Shut up. Susie, please. Please look at me. Please look at me. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can't. Of course she can. She's enjoy it. Go on. Susie. You can't. Don't, don't listen to her. Go on, Susie. Susie, don't listen to her, please. Susie, look at me. I know how terrible it is to lose a child. I really do. But if you do this, the only person that will benefit is her. Not you, her. And that's what she Go wants. On. Don't let her win. Go on, Susie. sweetie. Go on. Please, come on. For Laura. Go on. Susie, please. Go on. I'm sorry I've got to go away. Your nan needs you. You need me too. She just needs me a bit more. I can't leave her on her own. But I'll see you again. Now I've found you, I'll never let you go. I love you, Dad. Dad? You called me Dad? what you are, the best a girl could ever have. I'm sorry, Princess. But you could look after your nan. You get her better. And if, um, you don't pop back down, I'll pop and see you soon. I'll call you as soon as I get there. Okay. Promise, Mayor. We'll speak to Big Mac. Mm -hmm. Well done. Honey, I will. Uh, I, I'm not good at this, but I want three. Yeah. What kind of person murders four children? Robin. I know, I know, she's a patient. Charlie, first resource patient's arrived. Right, thanks. And this is Stanley Mumford, 65, involved in an RTC about 
van versus van at approximately 50 miles an hour. He's got a small cut on his head. His left foot was trapped for about 10 minutes with a deep laceration. And I was worried about some breathing difficulties on scene. GCS 15, pulse 90, BP's 130 over 80, SATs 95, I've given him 10 of morphine. Who's Cal? Cal, insisted on saying at the scene. Over on three. One, two, three. Oh, boy. Okay. Right, let's do the ABCs, please. Stand on Mrs. Beach and Morgan looking after you. My foot. You need to look at my foot. When we get a chance, Stanley. Mm. Can we get some monitoring? Right, let's on give him five more of morphine. Mm -hmm. Right, we have bilateral breath sounds. Let's get a chest and pelvic x ray. I'd like a fast scan. Second, large bore IV cannula. Push a litre of normal saline, please. Let's have FBCs using ease, clotting group, and saving glucose. Right, I'm not happy about this note. There's some swelling there. Robin, can you take over manual C spine control, please? I'd like to look at his neck. Keep him nice and steady. There we go. Oh. Must have hit that on impact. Mother, I'm over tight. They want to keep me alive, you know. Can't get your secrets if you did. Why won't you tell them where Laura is? Now, why would I do that? For her mother. So she can bury her. <laughs> well, I thought about it. Wouldn't tell the police. Thought about seeing her mum, tell her direct. They wouldn't let me. Didn't trust me. So hurtful. <laughs> well, he's just upset that you're going. I feel like I'm being selfish leaving her. No. Honey... Leaving your friends, your job, your life, because you're going to care for someone. That's about the most unselfish act I can think of. But he'll miss you. We all will. Um... I need to give Olive an internal examination, so we're going to need some privacy. Should really stay with her? Yeah, but she's handcuffed to the bed and she's got a fractured hip, so she's not going anywhere, is she? Why don't you grab a coffee? It'll only be ten minutes. Laura's mum. Pretty little Laura. You've lost weight, see, you? I can't eat. I can't sleep. I... Laura. What did you do to her? You don't really want to know, do you? I know. I know. Somewhere, deep down, there's something decent. Kind. I know that you'll do the right thing. That you'll tell me where she is. Let me put her to rest. Bring her home. Really? What on earth would give you that idea? Because I'll make you. Oh, really? How are you going to do that? Look, he's stable. We're just transferring him to ITU, right? 